Welcome back, YouTubers. Today I am going to be installing another canister filter, the FX5 series. It has an additional water polisher. I have one already down here that I put here when I built this setup. And since I'm not running it the, the, the uh, traditional way, I had to run hoses and make modifications with some barbs and PVC piping. So my plan is to put another one on here. My only problem is that I have a 3D wall and this acrylic tank, I already pre-drilled enough holes into it so I don't want to drill any more holes and mess up the structural integrity of it. I have two here, two on the opposite side, and two in the center. So, um, presents a bit of a challenge for me because they're all being used. This is the output here that feeds out of my pump. Uh, I ran it over the top. And what I did was I put a T-bar here so that I can also send flow through the center if I wanted to. I haven't had a reason to, but it was always nice to have the option on both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate and cut this here and eliminate this completely. That will free up the two cutouts I have in the center. So I'm thinking this time there's the hose for the FX5 strainer that goes all the way down and it feeds up on the other side. I'm going to probably make some modifications and keep your intake and output on one side and run the canister on the other side. Um, I just have to figure this out because this is the main water supply here that feeds in when I do my water changes, I simply turn a valve and I get fresh water in here. So that I'd like to use this as an output for the other FX5. And this is a strainer from the FX5 that's currently running. That runs all the way down. But I may cut this and find a different use, a way to run this. Um, so, same with this, I'm going to have to cut this here. Because I'm no longer using... In, in uh, the center holes there and uh, I think I'll just run this straight so that will be my challenge here right at the Union I have to figure out a way to get it here still keep a handle here so I can control the water as I see fit and run it back into the center nice running it right here where the water shoots out and gives me fresh water so um, We'll figure some stuff out. I have most of the materials to get started here, and I think I think I can get it pull this off. So anyway, guys, I'll keep you posted. Let me get started. Well guys, welcome back. So I've managed to figure out a way to run another FX5 filter. 
as you probably remember I have one already running here as a water polisher to the back of the 3d wall that I have <clears throat> but the challenge was to run another one and uh, it definitely was a challenge as I stated before I had to overcome this 3d wall I have and not that this was so much of a challenge but the real challenge became where I could not drill any more holes with the structural integrity that I had already drilled holes into this. So I utilized the two overflow uh, holes that I had in there and just made that a direct water line source for fresh water to come in and cut the piping that I had here no longer using it and just running my output straight here and shooting out straight out. So uh, I did the same on both sides and each FX5 is on each corner position this way. This would be the strainer that goes behind the wall. And with the photos I showed you, I took the strainer and divided it into two parts so that I'm straining below here and midway point as well. And this would be the output, which in this case, this time around, I just shot it straight out into here and some of it gets pushed into the power head. I did the same with the other side over here. And just mirrored the same idea. Worked out really well. The strainer is going in, put in here the intake and straight down with a T coupler and sent the strainer also there as well. So essentially, two FX5s are pushing two strainers each, and I'm covering the whole. I'm covering the whole back wall there because the back wall is uh, well. You can kind of see right here. Right behind the 3D wall, I put a T coupling there. There's still a strainer at the bottom of this, but the T coupling sends it back, and then it, I used a uh, 45 elbow there, and that's kind of hard to see, but I used a 45 and just went straight down. So I have another strainer, so I have two areas of intake on this side and two areas on the other side. And then of course this would be the output that sends it straight here and shoots it here and out there. Uh, my main water line I had to cut, or I had it here before, which came straight here and went straight down, but with the modification I had to cut it here, controlling what the water at times here by flow valve, and I send it back there and into the middle there, so now water shoots directly into the center when I do a water change. And then, vice versa, I just use one one-sided pipe here and cut the T here as well came out pretty good and the pumps are running really well I thought it would be pretty easy to do but like again with the acrylic tank uh, holes being cut and a 3d wall presented a bit of a challenge but I just had to work around it and what I did was instead of using the flex tubing that comes with it I just ran my own tubing and then run a, uh, a hose bib on it which you can connect to PVC piping and then make a modification. Let's see if we can get it here. A hose bib connected to there and then you can drop down from a one inch to a three quarter and then go into a 45, come up and then this now becomes your flu ball. And I just use flu ball. I know it's not as flexible as using a uh, flex hose but as long as you got all your angles right, everything should flow good. So, I solved the problem of running two FX5 filters. And, uh, pretty happy with it. Excited to see how the water is going to clear up. The fish have been going through a lot. Caught a lot of fish, took a lot out. I'm down to... 12 black widows now two, two, blue, two blue zeromobas and the uh, Mpimwe and uh, this is probably the stock we're just going to keep from now on I got rid of <clears throat> the majority of the rocks and just went with these two there's three caves one in the center one over here and one on the far left so this is going to be the setup I have now. 
and I think I am not going to have to do any more changes or modifications to the tank. So guys, that was the challenge I was presented with. And uh, yeah, I think I'm done making any more modifications to this tank. I think it's at optimal level now. And there's definitely a lot more space. But just a few friends tells us these guys can grow now without all the competition. Because of the daytime it is now, I have a lot of glare coming in from the sun, but... I definitely have a lot more space now, and I'm really happy about that. I'm sure they are too, and I have a lot more water flow now. So, that is that guys, and I'm glad you came back to see what, how the final product looked. Thanks for watching. So guys, I finally finished the tank, made my additions. I uh, decided to go ahead and add these columns here on the end pieces there, corners, <clears throat> to sort of give them the look that I was looking for. I completed them this morning, took a couple days on it with a lot of things going on. I like the look. Completed all the way around. Gives it a more robust look, so the tank is complete and I rescaped my setup a bit. And I decided just to stay with two large stones. A lot more space now. I've only got half of the frontoses I'd had before. And I like it a lot more now. So that is the update of my tank, guys. I'll make another video tonight with the light on. This is just natural daylight that they get.
could do a lot more swimming now, that's for sure. I just gave them some freeze-dried mealworms. They seem to like those a lot. And since they're getting quite large, I don't have to break them up anymore. There's floating food in there now, the freeze-dried worms, but I mix it up with them. Sometimes I give them sinking food. And sometimes I give them mid-grade food, mid-level, and then sometimes I just give them floating food. <clears throat> now that there's so much room in the tank, they have a lot of space. This is 650 gallon, and I have about 15 front hoses left now. Major downsize in the stock, but at least I know now they'll grow really nice. I've got a less bio load as well. And since I added that other FX5 canister filter, um, the water does a lot better now, so. I'll upload another video tonight uh, with the night light on it. You can probably see the tank better. A lot of glare from the sun. But yeah, they seem really happy now. There's a lot of space. My largest black widow is probably about 11 inches. The mobiles are not too far behind them. Got my one man pinway right there. I'm sure he might be the largest eventually. I decided to keep him and let the rest of them go. He's got a little bit of personality with him, so. Beautiful colors. It's got some blue and some purples on them and it looks real nice.
Well, thanks for watching, guys.